Hey guys, so Blender 2.82 actually has a new option in the bevel section and it's very very powerful I feel like and especially if you want to create furniture I see that a lot and yeah let's just get into it so if we go into edit mode and we select one edge and go here into the bevel section you can create a bevel right and if you go into this bevel section here you can see all the options so you can still change the offset if you want and all this uh, good stuff but there is something different and that is this custom profile so if you click on this we have this little section coming up and when you click on this uh, in this graph you can see that we create these new dots and they kind of work like curves do in Photoshop so you can just move them around you can even make them sharp as you can see but we don't see anything changing here right that is weird that is mostly just because we don't have any segments in here so if we pump this segments up we can see that we have a a bevel and if you look closely you can see that if I put some more curves in here this bevel just does precisely what this curve says right so if we like uh, put them close to each other you can see that they, it does exactly the same and the more segments you put the more precise it will get and yeah so you can make them sharp here and all that shebang so what's very cool with this is that it also works in your modifiers and I personally like to work with modifiers way more than uh, adding bevels like this because um, yeah it's non-destructive so let's just get a new cube in here and add a modifier so this is gonna be our bevel modifier and here you can see that we have exactly the same stuff here we have our uh, profile we even have presets so if you want like this kind of uh, preset then we have to bump up our segments and you can see that our presets work quite well the only thing is these corners don't work and that is well that's always like that right even if you have no custom um, profile and we put the segments a bit lower you can see that yeah this geometry is just not uh, good for that so how I like to add bevels is I'm just selecting the edge that I want and then I create a weight on them so if you go here into item transform and edge data you can do a bevel weight because this is an edge that's why we do the edge data bevel weight I put it all the way to one and you can see that nothing happens that is because in our bevel modifier we have to put the limit method at weight and now you can see only the points like the the edges that we gave uh, the weight which I just put to one like all the way up those will be affected by this modifier so now if we use this custom profile we of course have to put the segments a bit up then you can see that we get this profile in here right and the nice thing about this is it is because it is in a modifier we can still add some more edges so if you just select this edge and give this a uh, bevel weight you can see that it just get added let's do it all the way around Bam. So now you can see it all the way around. We have this um, yeah, detail. So this actually works quite well for making tables or even frames of a painting. Then this is just perfect. Look, uh, let's look here. Here, if you look at Google and you just look for table like edge profiles, you can see the edge profile. So if you want to recreate these table edges, we can just recreate them in here. And well, let's just do it. So we do the top left one. And the first part of this preset, let's just start with a default. So here we have a sharp line. Then we have another line here. So you just click on this uh, on this edge and then you add a new uh, like dot. After this, we have a more of a smooth line. And here down here we have a sharper line. And then it goes all the way nice and smooth to around here. So something like this would already be good, right? So we can of course bump up the segments and you can change some uh, things. So maybe you want this one sharp, it goes here. And yeah, you can see that it's very nice and editable. So now we can just move this one over on the top. 
And let's say we want to scale it uh, in the x-axis because it's a long table. If you do that, you can see that um, this bevel is longer, like it's elongated. And that's just because you scaled it up. So if you click on Ctrl A and apply the scale, then it will just snap back to where it's supposed to be. So this is a very nice tabletop. So the only thing we have to do is we just create um, some legs in here. So I'm going to select this top bit, scale it up. And then just select your leg and mirror this X and the Y axis and you have a nice table. So that's how I like uh, to add bevels. And I think this new option is very, very nice and very powerful. And uh, yeah, guys, so I hope you learned from this. Subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you guys in the next one.